one of the questions I get asked all the time in my wine classes is, what does it mean when we say a wine has to breathe? What, what's, um, what does that mean and what does that do for the wine? Well, basically what happens is when you get air into wine, when you take it out of the bottle and put air into it, the air releases the um, aromatic components and the flavor components of the wine and it helps the wine to open up. Now there's some wines that instead of breathing they need artificial respiration, but we're not going to talk about those right now. When you open a bottle of wine and when you pour, you have what we call like the four S's or five S's. I don't remember how many S's there are. First one is C. You take a look at the wine, you hold the glass a little sideways to see how, the color of it and the opacity of it. If it's really light or really dark, that'll at least give you an idea about how concentrated, how concentrated it is. Then we're going to swirl. And what I always do is I always put the glass down on a counter because if you swirl it up here, sooner or later, you're going to get it all over you. So you put it down on the counter, you give it a swirl, and that's going to release the flavor components and the aromas. Then you're going to put your nose all the way down in the glass and sniff. You take a couple of short uh, breaths like a puppy, and then you sip. And that's the, that's the final thing. So what you want to do is you want to let that wine open up. You want to let it breathe. You want to get the flavor components out of it and, and all the aromas up into the nose so you have some sort of idea of the complete experience of the wine. I'm Jerry Greenfield, the Wine Whisperer, and here's to you.